The shadow banks have, as I said, great names. They're usually enhanced something or other because right. enhanced is kind of good. Yeah. It's better than non-enhanced, but they're usually growth fund because growth is good. It's better yeah, than growth no growth. Good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Big, high increase. Yeah. But And they usually have names you'll notice after uh, Greek gods like Zeus, Magellan. They're always good on a, they're good on a discover the Columbus fund, whatever, right? Right, yeah. Okay. But the point is they take people's money and they look for what they call yield for the return. This is how they arrived in Ireland. And they are the people who bought up and are still buying up most of Dublin's commercial property. So what they do is they give money to a developer, usually an old school Celtic Tiger developer. He pretends that he is fronting the development, which is why you hear, you know, Johnny Ronan or something's big development. He doesn't have any money, right? Yeah. He's fronting from somebody else, okay? The people he's fronting for basically say, build us that thing. And then what we will do is we will go to one of the great Dublin estate agents, such as they are, yeah. and they will find us a good client. So let's say that client is eBay or Google. Yeah. So that's a very good, what they call covenant, right? It's a good thing to have. And basically what happens is the international money comes in, it buys the Irish property. The Irish property's valuation is validated by the amount of rent they can get. They get the rent from what's called a triple A customer, like a Google or something like that, and they're away. And what basically happens is that pushes up the price of the development because the rent is very, very high. And now what you see is rent in Dublin in those new developments is just shy of 700 euros a square meter. That makes Jesus. Dublin, yeah. after London and Paris, the most expensive city in Europe. 